Hey everyone, uh, thanks for coming back for another video. Um, I did a thrift haul a few days ago and told you guys that I would do my bins haul separately because it would have been a really long video otherwise, but I realized after I did the other video that um, I didn't show you guys my Once Upon a Child finds from that same uh, day. So I was going to do that along with the bins haul. So if you're new here, uh, thanks for stopping by. I am a, my name's Kathy. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, uh, Kitizen, eBay, and Mercari. So I go around to thrift stores, consignment shops, garage sales, uh, anywhere I can get a deal and find things to flip on those sites for profit. So yeah, um, I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys what I got. If you are if you don't already know, Once Upon a Child is probably my favorite place to thrift, even though well, I guess it's not really thrifting because it's a consignment shop. I don't know if you consider that thrifting or not, but Anyways, it's my favorite place to go to find goodies to resell, so I'm just going to show you what I got, and yeah. Uh, first up is this little, I don't know, duffel coat, corduroy coat. Um, I just love the color, the yellow type stuff does so well. And this is the brand Next Baby, and it's size uh, 3 to 6 months. I think that'll sell around 20 to 25, um, super cute. Okay. Next up, I got these little Polar Ralph Lauren pants. I might keep these for my son. I'm going to try them on them, see if they would work for like Christmas photos. But if not, I'm going to just sell them. If I sell them, they'll probably sell around $18 to $20. Okay. Right. We got some little baby fry boots. These are so cute. Um, they're purple and they are size 4. Uh, those will probably sell around $25 or so. Alright, we got some Jordan slide sandals, toddler size uh, 10. And they are red and black, so they could definitely be unisex. And yeah, super cute. These will probably sell around 20, 20 to 25 That's what I usually get for those guys. Um, so these are Crocs. If you guys know I love selling Crocs. Uh, these are a toddler size 6 and they'll probably sell right around $20 shipped. We got some checkered vans. I love vans. They don't sell for a ton, but they usually sell fairly quickly. So these are actually, so they were at the kids store, but um, they are men's size 5.5 or women's size 7. And I think the men's size actually refers to a youth. I think it's the same as youth, but I'll have to double check before I list. But yeah, otherwise men's five and a half, women's seven. And these will probably sell around $30 or so. I got some Hatley snow boots. These are just a cute little deer print. They are youth girls size one. And I'll probably get around 30 to $35 on these guys. Snow boots are one of my favorite things to sell, especially this time of year. Alright, next up these are some little unicorn rainbow vans. I think these are the skate highs. Um, size kids 13. They will um, probably sell right around $25 or so. Super cute print. are some Zara boys loafers. Um, I just love that little weave print on them. They looked almost, maybe maybe they were worn once or something, but they did have the tag inside them. And they are real leather. Um, they are a size uh, five and a half youth, so 38 euro, which could also be men something, I believe. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect for these. Probably around 30 to 35. Uh, Zara leather shoes have done well for me in the past. Okay. Oh, more Crocs. Uh, these are tie dye, super fun. As I'm looking at them, they are. When I found them, I was like, oh, they're like almost new. But when I'm looking inside here, they are really dirty on the inside. So I'm gonna wipe those down. But after that, they should probably sell around $25, I believe. A couple 
couple more shoes in this bag. Uh, first up, we got a little pair of baby kids. Um, I just like little baby kids. They're always so cheap that I can't leave them. The white ones, just the plain white, do really well, um, right around $20. These will probably take a little longer to sell, but again, they were cheap enough that I took a chance. Um, they'll probably sell 15 to 18 fairly, I don't know about fairly quickly actually, but probably in the next month or two. And then these, again, were cheap. Um, I don't always buy Puma, but these were like two bucks, so I took a chance. I think they'll sell around 20. They're just green, suede, and they're US size four, so. Right, and we got a Patagonia Girls uh, down jacket. So this is a 2T, and yeah, it's like a cute color. Definitely could be unisex. Um, so 2T, yeah, these usually sell right around 50 bucks for me. Uh, they retail for 100 I can usually pull about half out of them. It does have some marks on it, but that doesn't really dissuade people from buying them, at least in the kids' world. Um, their kid's going to ruin it anyway, so they'd rather just get a deal on it to begin with. So they still sell around 50 bucks. If you guys find those anywhere, I would pick them up. All right, this I just got because you guys always hear me say I love selling Disney stuff, which is true. And it was cheap, and it was new with tags, so I took a chance. It's got little ice cream, cupcakes, and what's this guy's name? I know it's the Lilo and Stitch guy, but I don't know which character is which because I haven't watched that since I was a kid. But anyways, uh, this is a girl's size 14, or girl's XL. Super cute. Um, I think it'll at least get 15. I'm probably going to list it around 20 and see what happens. Right, and we got a Patagonia um, three month size blue fleece bunting. This will sell probably right around $30 to $35 fairly quickly. Um, if I have to guess, it's probably going to sell a Mercari, but we'll see. Um, if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button because we do our what solds daily so you guys can see when this sells, where it sells, how much it sells for. Because uh, right now I'm just giving you an estimate, a guesstimate really, of what I think it's going to sell for based on. You know, I've, I've sold these things several times over at this point, so. But you just never know. Um, sometimes somebody will offer me five bucks less than I thought I could get, but I'm in a good mood and I'll just take the offer, or I just want to make money right then and I'll take the offer, so. Yeah. Um, but Patagonia, always a great thing to look out for. And then in this, last in this bag is uh, some toddler Carhartt overalls. These are a size 2T, and they're in great shape, um, like no fading or anything, which these tend to get faded pretty quickly. Uh, so I think I can get right around $25 for these. That's usually about what I get for them. I'll bag these back up, show you guys the next bag. I think this one might be all shoes, so if you're new here, I like selling shoes. Um, at some point, I might only be a shoe reseller, we'll see, but um, like back before I even started selling on Poshmark, Mercari, well, I sold on Mercari and Kitizen. Before I started eBay and Poshmark, I started a second shop on Kitizen um, solely for shoes. My Kitizen shop name is Gingerbread Treads, sorry, Gingerbread Threads, but then I started Gingerbread treads because I like selling shoes so much and I sold only shoes in that second store but then kid hasn't made some changes so I just switched back to the one store but yeah I just I love shoes uh, so first up are these really cute roper like embroidered boots and again these are a, an adult size even though they're at the kids store so sometimes they make mistakes buy the wrong stuff um, but these are a women's six and a half so small women's size super cute great shape I can't say I've sold a pair of Roper boots anytime recently, so I don't know what I'm going to get for these. I'm probably going to list them, um, I don't know, I really don't even know. I want to say like 50 and see what happens, but I honestly, that could be way out there or that could be right on the money, so 
Um, if you like them, go check out my shops. Hopefully I'll have them listed shortly after or before even this video comes out. Alright, and then we got some Kid Saucony, like a army green sneaker. Great shape. They basically look unworn. Uh, they are a use size 3. And I'll probably get around $30 for those. And then I buy sandals and things like this all year round. They are always selling. I actually just sold a pair of these this week. Uh, these are saltwater sandals, so good brand to look out for. These will sell probably right around $25 shipped. Um, the pair I sold earlier in the week sold for $30, but they were basically new without box. These look very slightly worn, so uh, these are a girl's, well, I guess they could be unisex too, uh, size 12, uh, little toddler size. Alright, and then we got a pair of the white kids that I was telling you about before. These do really well for me. They'll probably sell in just a couple days of being listed for right around 18 to 20. These are a size 2 infant. And then we got a pair of little John Deere booties. I find these all the time. I don't know if people in Colorado just like their John Deere stuff or if these are available everywhere, but I swear I find these like at least once a month thrifting. Um, for really cheap. So I pick them up. I usually get anywhere from 15 to $20 on them. So. Betty. And we got a pair of native shoes. If you don't know this brand, it's a good kids brand to look out for. These always sell uh, right around 20 to $25. These, after I throw them in the wash, they're in really good shape. They hardly look worn other than some dirt, which will wash off. So these are going to sell closer to that $25 mark, I'm sure. Alright, then we got a pair of mini Melissa's. Uh, these are the cats. And they are pink cats, size uh, toddler 10. They're in pretty good shape, a little dirty. I might wipe them down before I list, but they honestly don't look worn too much at all. These will probably sell around $30 or so. I did want to point out... Um, I actually found two pairs of these this day, but I left the other one because the cats especially, they tend to always have their whiskers like either cut or broken off. Um, so always check that, you know, just the cats are the ones that come to mind, but I'm sure there's other models where something might have ripped off. But um, if you find many Melissa's in good shape, pick them up if you get them for a good enough deal anyways. So these again will probably sell around 30 but... I would say anywhere from 25 to 35 is what you're looking at for various mini Melissa's. Okay. I love these. I wish they were my size. Uh, these are just Converse red glitter. Red is like my favorite color and well, one of my favorite colors. I also love purple and teal. <laughs> but red has been my forever favorite color. So these are a size 2 youth. And yeah, other than, again, a little bit of dirt on the soles, they're in great shape. The logos on the heels are still good. A lot of people care about that. So, yeah, these will probably sell right around, I would say, $25 to $30 on those. Alright, these are just adorable little vans. I don't know what model these are. Probably the skate high, but they're just like the crib shoes. So, um, these are a size 1 infant, and they will probably sell right around $18 to $20. Alright, and then I love this one, Spawn a Child, because I always find a pair of these here, I swear. I have not been there since before all the COVID stuff, so... Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. The store actually got sold to a new owner since the last time I've been, so I didn't, you know, before it was great, I always found tons of good stuff, which I, I did this time too, and I was only there about an hour, so this, though, is something I always find. So as I was walking in, I was like, I hope I find some freshly picked and some Patagonia, and I did end up finding both, so I was happy. Uh, these are freshly picked, like a really pretty blue color. Oxford moccasin. So if you haven't heard of Freshly Pick, these retail for like $60. I used to be able to get $30 for them fairly quickly. Um, now they don't go for quite as much. I'm probably still going to list these at $30 and see what happens, but uh, probably looking closer to $20.25 on them. But yeah, they are a great quality little shoe. They are real leather and 
people just love them for little baby feet because they're flexible and easy to move in. I found a pair of Ugg booties. Um, I've sold several pairs of these guys. They usually sell around 25 30 bucks. These ones don't retail as much as the like um, shearling lined ones. So these ones will probably sell closer to 25 If you find the like real Uggs, um, like the chestnut brown with the fur inside, those usually sell 30 to 35 even the baby ones. So definitely pick them up if you find them for cheap enough. Yeah. All right, we got another pair of little baby Crocs. These are size 4. Um, these are super dirty. I'm going to toss them in the wash. Uh, what I do with Crocs is just kind of spray them down with Shao, OxyClean, whatever laundry stuff I have around, and then just toss them in the wash with usually some towels or something, and it they magically look pretty good usually when I take them out. So um, these will, I don't know if every little bit of dirt is going to come off, but I think I can get 15 to 18 for these, and they were super cheap, so. I just can't leave Crocs. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, and then these guys are just a pair of Nikes. I don't remember what kind. Uh, it's got the K, what is that? Kevin Durant or what is it, Kyrie? I don't know, one of those basketball players. Um, but yeah, these Nikes will probably sell around $30. So, really cute. And if they don't sell, I can keep them for my son. Uh, they are a size 12C. I say if they don't sell, I'm not. I'm very confident they will sell. Um, they always sell, so. All right, and last but not least, from the Once Upon a Child, we found these Kamek Snow Boots. Um, really good shape. These are a youth size four, so. Yeah, super nice. Right, excuse me while I pack these up again. So, last couple bags here are from the Goodwill Outlet, so also known as the bins if you're if you've never heard of the bins or if you hear people saying it but don't know what it is it's just a Goodwill outlet store so basically um, instead of going to the Goodwill going through racks of stuff already by size sorted um, and then they mark it up this is where they just throw it all in big blue bins at least that's how it is here I've seen it differently in other states but they just throw everything in big blue bins and you basically get a have at it. Um, anything that you buy, you just pay by the pound instead of by the item. So um, everything in these two bags here cost me $35 total. So it was a pretty decent day. Um, I went up to Denver on my birthday, which was last week now, or maybe the beginning of this week anyways. Um, yeah, it was my first time going to the Denver Goodwill outlet, so I was kind of excited. I didn't find, well, I did find something good, which you guys will see in the end here, but I just was like, it, it was a little bit too much, too chaotic for my personal liking. I I prefer, right now, the Goodwill bins in Colorado Springs is one person to a bin, and you can just look at it, and then when you're done, you can find another bin with no one at it. This one didn't seem to have, like, anybody really caring about how close you were to one another, and I just don't like reaching over people, and I don't really like people reaching over me, so... I didn't find as good of stuff as I had hoped. I know there was lots of good stuff there to be found, but I am glad I found this bag full of stuff that I will tell you guys about at the end. But yeah, I'll just tell you about this random bag of goodies first. Um, I don't think it's anything amazing, but I kind of honestly forgot what most of it was. Uh, so this is just a little Batman tee that'll go to my consignment sale. It'll probably sell for like three fifty-four bucks. Um, these were some Cat and Jack, but they were new at Tag, just like a uniform navy blue pant, um, girl size 8, and these will, again, go to the consignment sale. Alright, this is a Boys Gap Star Wars tee, size large, um, which is a 1011. This, I might list this online just because people like Star Wars. It won't sell for a ton, probably $12 to $15. Um, but, again, $35 is what I paid for everything you're going to see. So, if I can make 10 bucks even back off of one t-shirt, I might just do that. And then this guy um, is just a little flash romper 
funny story. I actually bought this exact romper off Kitizen last week for my youngest son in a size 4. And then I found this one at the bins in a size 8. So I am going to actually keep this for my older son and let them both put them on and pretend to be superheroes together. So after that, I'll sell it probably for $15 or so. Okay. And this was a vintage Nike like windbreaker size large. It has the like hideaway hood where you can zip it up. And yeah. I did notice that the wrists were kind of stretched, which that's okay. I'm still gonna try to sell it, and I'm sure somebody will not mind because people like vintage Nike stuff. So I don't know what I'm gonna list it for. Probably I don't even wanna guess. <laughs> I'm gonna list it. <laughs> Alright, and this is just a hat. It didn't really have a brand on it. It says one size, but it looks fairly large. Like, I think this would be big on my six year old, even. And he has a pretty big head, so I would say this is almost like a youth size. I'm debating listing this online or taking it to the consignment sale, but I might list it online because it, it really is in great shape. Um, it has like a Sherpa lining, so. If I list it, I'll probably be looking at like 8 to $10, so not huge money, but it should be an easy thing to list. Alright, this I'm probably just keeping for myself. I just like t-shirts and long sleeve t-shirts, so this is just a long sleeve tee that says Crest Butte, Colorado, and it has a mountain and Colorado flag thingy on the back, so... I got a Broncos tank top. This will probably sell for um, I don't know, 12, 15 bucks, nothing crazy. Alright, and then this guy is something I was gonna, I only bought because I was gonna try them on for myself. They're just some H&M like athletic legging pants and I like stretchy pants so I'm gonna try them on. If they don't fit me or I don't like them, I'm just going to sell them probably for 10 15 bucks. Alright, this I just thought was super cute. It's just Forever 21, um, but girl size uh, 14, 13, 14. And it's just like one of those eyelash sweaters with the heart print. So soft. Um, yeah, I love this like sweaters right now. I have a few of them for myself and it's really all I want to wear these days. So. Um, probably thinking about $15 or so on that is what I'll get. Right, this is just a pair of 7 for All Mankind. These are just the Kimmy boot cut, so I haven't done well with any 7 for All Mankind jeans, so I just picked them up because they were, I mean, next to nothing as far as cost. Uh, they're a size 28. They were in decent shape. I didn't see any, like, real puckering or anything, maybe just the tiniest bit, so I'm going to take a chance on them, see what I can get, but yeah, even if I pull $15, $20 out of these, that's good enough to me for the work that I put into buying them and listing them. Alright, this was just cute. I might keep it for my son. Definitely needs to get washed, uh, but it's like a little L.L. Bean kids fishing vest or utility vest. Uh, kid size 8. Even has a little stormtrooper pin. So. Yeah, that's cute. If I do list it, I'll probably list it at like 20 to 25 and see what happens. And I found this Victoria's Secret pink hoodie size medium. And it has a, like a soft hood. This actually looks almost unworn, unwashed. Like, you know how clothes when they're washed get like all pilly? This honestly doesn't really have any wash wear, so yeah, I'm probably thinking about $25 is what I'll get on that, but we'll see what happens. Right, this is the Brand American Girl, like the doll, but they also make clothes. It's just a cute little cardigan. I've actually sold the same cardigan before, and it took forever to sell, so I don't even know why I got this, because, um, yeah, <laughs> of how long it took last time, but... Again, all this stuff was so cheap, so I just grabbed it. Alright, and then this guy. 
they had a whole bin of like Halloween Halloween stuff and nobody was at that bin so I took my time going through it this is the only thing well in the flash maybe but that I pulled out but it's a Eeyore one piece romper and it is new with tag which is awesome and it's a size XL so good size nice and soft that'll probably sell for 25 30 bucks And this is just uh, Disney by Neff, uh, Mickey Mouse t-shirt, <laughs> just a black tee, and yeah, not really sure what I'll get, probably around $15 or so on that. Right, we got this Columbia Fleece, Columbia Fleeces don't usually sell for a ton, but they sell, so I keep picking them up. Uh, this is a women's medium. It's just a nice cute pattern, black chevroni pattern with purple trim. Probably will sell for 20 to 25 bucks. And these are the brand Can Can, which I've never sold before, but I've heard other people say they do well with it, so I grabbed these. Uh, they are a size 11 or 29. So just a distressed pair of denim shorts. Sort of long, more of a Bermuda length. So, And then last thing in this bag is this North Face jacket. It is a women's size large. I don't know what to expect for it, but it's definitely a good pickup. Um, probably, I don't know. <laughs> I'll look up comps before I decide what I'm going to list that for. So. <laughs> Alright, so this last bag, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys saw my cart haul, which is just one pick of the whole cart, which you couldn't really tell what was in it other than some bras, which is what I have here. And if you've ever um, had an Ikea bag, you know how big they are and how much they hold. So this Ikea bag is literally full of bras, just all bras. Um, it's crazy. Um, these are all the brand Third Love, which if you don't know, that's kind of like, I think it's um, direct-to-consumer only. Like, you have to buy it online. It's not like sold at a store as far as I know. And the, I, I haven't counted these, but I think there's at least 100 in here. And I think these are going to sell for 20 to $30 a piece, so... You can do the math on that. Um, it's just nuts. There was so many, like, people were literally fighting over these. <laughs> and it was just crazy. Um, not, like, actually fighting. Just everybody realized that all a few of the bins had them, and everyone was just kind of grabbing over people. So before everyone realized it, I had gotten a whole handful, and I had already walked them back to my cart because I was like, oh, I knew that bras do well for a lot of people, and I know that third love is something that people like um so yeah i grabbed them all went back found a few more there was probably over a thousand bras there and i just got a small sample of them so i kind of want to count them so that you guys can like know but i mean this is just crazy they're all different sizes all different colors models a few of them are still new at tag i don't know why they had all these bras there my guess is I mean, I haven't shopped with Third Love, but I feel like they do a thing where, like, you know, try it for free up to whatever days, and if it doesn't work, then you can send it back for a full refund. I'm guessing that's what happened with these, and then they can't resell them, so they just donate them, and then somehow they ended up at the Goodwill bin. So, yeah, I'm happy that I was there the day to find them, because this could potentially be a lot of money in sales, so I kind of want to count them. And then I'll be right back with you guys to tell you how many there are. Alrighty, we are back. So I counted them all. It looks like there's 62 bras in here. So um, I really, I did look up comps and some sold for 30, some sold for 20. I mean, you can do the math on that. Like if these all even sell for $15 a piece, that's a $900 gross sales. Um, if they sell for $20 a piece, that's... Twelve hundred, and then if they sell for thirty dollars a piece, that's 
up to $1,800. So I think just this bag of bras is going to bring me, I mean, at least in gross sales, close to $1,000. Um, you know, if they, let's say they all sold on Posh, Posh takes 20%, so that's $800. And again, I paid $35 for all these bras, plus all that stuff I just showed you guys. So, I mean... I should probably profit at least $1,000 off this one little bins haul. I only stayed there for about an hour because I was getting, I just didn't like how many people were around and stuff. And yeah, so. Yeah. Um, if you guys have ever sold Third Love bras or any bras in the, let me know in the comments. Um, I know there's tons of bra brands that do really, really well on the resale market. So uh, this will be my first time experimenting with it. I'm selling any bras at all, but I'm excited to do so and open myself up to a new category that I didn't previously have on my radar. So, yeah, if you guys um, want to see when they sell, how much they sell for, please hit that subscribe button. We do, again, do what's sold pretty much every single day, um, as well as different hauls. If you see anything you liked, we have links in the description to my different eBay, Poshmark, different stores, so you can um, go see the items, the sizes, and if you want to make an offer on anything, please do. And, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.